Hello, Tony Harding from Harding Knives. This knife I've just finished today. It's um, a Nesmuk style. It's 4mm01 tool steel. 59 Rockwell. It's been hardened to razor sharp. And uh, this handle is Arctic Reindeer. And it, uh, as you may know, I've done quite a few knives recently in moose antler and reindeer antler. Uh, and this Arctic Reindeer stuff is just the business. I, I think it's fantastic. Uh, it's got brass pins and a brass lanyard hole. And I'm uh, not sure whether it picks it up on the camera, but um, I've found a way to polish the inside of that lanyard hole to a mirror finish. <laughs> I don't know why, but uh, but I did, and we'll continue to do so because it's it's kind of these little things add up to a, a, a more professional finish, I guess. Um, it's got a wonderful feel to it, left or right-handed, doesn't make any difference with this. Extremely comfortable. There'll be no hot spots when you're using this with um, over a long period of time. Not if you hold it properly. And uh, it fits in the hand for every possible grip that you use for carving. I've found that this steep angle here lends itself particularly to uh, making holes and what have you for for a bow drill or, or something like that. It's, it's really good for digging, for digging holes in wood, that angle. So that's going up for sale today, um, and this sheath is one with a old world map in the background. It's slightly darker than the ones I normally do, uh, which gives it kind of a, a background look to the image. Um, but yeah, they go together really nicely, a nice historic looking piece of kit. But aside from its good looks, extremely strong and functional and will last a lifetime quite easily or longer if treated properly. So there we go, an Esmuk. Bye bye.